We're going to listen to some sounds today because when we read, believe it or not, we hear sounds, right? Yeah. Okay. So this is all in order to get better at reading. When we make sounds, what parts of our mouth do we use? There are three parts to our mouth that we're going to talk about today. There's our lips, our teeth, and our tongue. Today it's okay to stick out our tongue. Everybody stick out our tongue. Their tongue. Every time we make sounds, all right, we let out air. Sometimes the air comes out from our mouth. Sometimes the air comes out from our... No. Yes. 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 And when we make a sound, sometimes there's a buzz on in our throat, and sometimes there's buzz off. You ready? I'm going to show you. Ready? Watch this. Make this sound. Put your hand here. Two fingers. Everybody take two fingers. Two fingers take three fingers. Do you feel there's a little up and down motion, like a vibration in your throat that goes up and down? Watch, go like this. Do you feel it? Yeah. Now make this sound. You ready? Is there a vibration? That means buzz off. Right? Okay. All right, so we're going to start out today, boys and girls, making sounds and looking in our mirrors to see which part of our mouths we're using when we make sounds, certain sounds, okay? We're going to start out by looking at this picture, which is a picture of a mask. Right. Okay, say the word mask. Okay, now make the first sound you hear in mask. I want you right now to look in the mirror as you make the first sound you hear in mask. Okay, now look at my chart. Did you make the sound? Which part of your mouth was making that sound? Were you using your lips? Yes. Your teeth or your tongue? Look in your mirror again. Make that sound. Ready? What are my lips doing? I heard people say, you're using your lips. I'm using my lips. What are my lips doing? They're getting together. My lips are... They're touching, aren't they? So my mouth is closed. My lips are touching, so we're using our lips when we make that sound, aren't we? Where's the air coming out? Is the air coming out of our mouth? Is it possible? Is the air coming out of our mouth? Put your hand in front of your mouth. Any air coming out of your mouth? It's impossible because your lips are closed. So put your hand... Two or three fingers under your nose and make that sound. Do you feel anything coming out of your nose? Any air? Mm, a little bit? I feel hot air. Very good. You'll feel some air coming out of your nose. You know how you can also tell there's air coming out of your nose? If you plug your nose right now, you can't make that sound because the air is being blocked. Plug your nose as you say, mm, say, mm, not plug your nose. Mm. Can you make the sound if you plug your nose? No. It's impossible. It's impossible. That's a good word you just used. He said it's impossible. Do you know why it's impossible? Because you block the air, so you can't make the noise. You can't make the sound. Next question. Does that, when we make the sound we hear at the beginning of mass, is the buzz on or is the buzz off? You think it's on, you think it's off, how can we check? How do we check if the buzz is on or off? What did I say? Put two or three fingers right about here, I think. Ready? Let's see if it's vibrating 
And if it's vibrating, that means if it's going up and down your throat, if it's going up and down, it means the buzz is on. You ready? Everybody make the boom sound. I feel mine vibrating. Do you feel yours? Is that buzz on or buzz off? Thumbs up. Let's try. Let's try turtle. All right. Which part of our mouth do we use when we make the first sound in turtle? Let's make the first sound in turtle. Let's use our mirrors. I gotta look at it again. Okay. Ready? What do you see? What do you feel? Exaggerate it, guys. Watch Mrs. Lover when I do it. Because I want to see what's happening in my mouth. Am I using my lips? No. No. What do you feel like you're using? What do you feel that's doing most of the work in there? What part of your mouth is it? It's not your lips, is it? What's doing most of the work? Your teeth or your tongue? What do you feel? You feel your tongue? Does anybody else feel your tongue doing most of the work? What's your tongue doing? Oh, do you hear what he's saying? Does anybody feel it tapping the top of their mouth? Like sort of in the front top? You know what we call that? A tongue tapper sound. Oh, my tongue is tapping the top of my mouth in the front. Is yours? Do you feel it? Yeah, you feel that? Which part of our mouth is doing most of the work there? Your tongue. You call that tongue tapper. All right, let's put our hands in front of our mouth now. Where's the air coming out? Is it coming out of our nose? Or is it coming out of our mouth? Ready? Put your hand. Let's check our mouth first. Do you feel the air coming out of your mouth? You do. We don't have to check our nose because it's coming out of our mouth. Next, is buzz on or buzz off? It is? Now, don't get tricked just because you hear a sound. I hear a sound, but is it a buzz sound? Is it the buzz on? I don't feel it vibrating. It's about how it feels here. Is it vibrating? Mine isn't. Is yours? What's this a picture of? Scissors. What's the first sound in scissors? Let's exaggerate our first sound and see if we can figure out what's going on here. Ready? Oh, this is exciting. Ready? I feel air on my feet. Oh, that's a good observation. You guys are scientists when you're doing this. You know that? Because you're doing a lot of observation, observing. What's happening when you make that first sound with scissors? What's your teeth? You don't have any teeth. <laughs> What's happening with your teeth? Look at Mrs. Lobo. Who's doing all the work in that mouth? Which part of the mouth is doing all the work? Yes! What are they doing? They're blocking the air, aren't they? Put our, let's check and see where the air is coming out. Do you feel any air coming out? Put your hand in front of your mouth. Is the air coming out of your mouth? Or your nose? It's kind, where is it coming out of your mouth? Right? You learned about how different parts of your mouth help you make different sounds. Sometimes it's your lips that do most of the work. Sometimes it's your teeth that do most of the work. Sometimes it's your tongue that does most of the work. And then you always let out some air when you make sounds. Sometimes the air comes out of your mouth. Sometimes the air comes out of your nose. Your nose. And sometimes when you make a sound, you have buzz on or buzz off. Very good. And knowing these, all about this is going to help you to hear the sounds in words.